Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick uh, video talking about the features that won't make it or that are going to be deprecated when we get to fall creators update. Now every updates, every major Windows versions, we always have these features that are uh, either gone or are uh, not as they were before or you know not updated anymore stuff like that. There's a few things that's going to happen, and um, mostly the deprecated features. Now, be careful. I've seen many websites say, oh, bye-bye, Microsoft Paint is gone. Uh, so for those that have been using that, Paint is that regular Paint app. Not the Paint 3D, which is the new one. But there's you know the good old Paint app, which is this, that Microsoft had in Windows since, like, you know, Windows 95 or something. Uh, has of course been updated a little bit but not that much now with the paint 3d app uh, of course one of the things that is kind of we're thinking is well they might want to remove it because paint 3d now exists uh, but a lot of people and a lot of websites are mentioning oh it's gone no it's not it's deprecated what the deprecated mean it's going to be there in fall creators update it just won't have any more updates to the paint app it's just gonna stay the way it is that's the first step towards maybe someday it's going to be removed but you know uh, there's no we don't really know when it's gonna be removed some people say well it's gonna be there next time and remove the next one after we don't know that it's speculation we all, we all the only thing I want to say here is make clear because a lot of websites say oh it's gone no it's not it's still gonna be there so if you use paint for some reason, you know, use it sometimes for a quick little, you know, touch here and there or, or, or manipulation of images or, or uh, sometimes I like it just to take a picture with paint and change its format from, you know, say a, a GIF to a JPEG or stuff like that. Um, so, um, you know, it's, it's still going to be there, but it's one of those features slowly. The sync of your settings. You know, we all know that when we, um, for example, Microsoft Edge here, I've got my uh, favorites that sync. Um, my settings, including my background wallpaper, all sync between machines. Um, now, once again, this is another feature where a lot of people and a lot of websites are not reporting it right. Um, I had a, 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 pr a private message on YouTube, someone saying, oh, why do they remove the sync, your settings, so that we don't have the same settings on all machines. I, I kind of like that feature. Uh, well, they're not removing it. It's just that they are changing the way it is done. Now, uh, what's happening is that they have two sync systems at Microsoft. They have a new one, which is a cloud storage system with sync uh, that syncs, uh, you know, that will synchronize both enterprise and, of course, uh, any user. Um, you know data and stuff but a lot of people say um, well oh well it, it won't synchronize anymore yeah it's still gonna synchronize we're just moving to a new system the old system the old way of synchronizing is being removed and I, I, I would guess one of the reasons why is it's not totally reliable if you want uh, one thing that's being removed uh, there was a possibility in Windows 10 to do a system image backup which for some people might be something cool. Um, Microsoft says, you know what? Use a third party software, which for me makes sense because, you know, I don't per personally like image backups because they are long, huge, and take a long time to get back. Uh, some people like them, you know, because an image backup means you can keep the state of your machine at a specific time. And instead of reinstalling Windows, the drivers, the software, you can reinstall the image that has all of that already in it for a specific time. Now, I've never been a big fan of that personally, but I understand why some people that have maybe a lot of settings, a lot of little tweaks here and there might say, you know what, I want to have an image backup of this. It's going to be easier if I ever want to go back. So... Um, that feature, there was a feature like that in Windows 10 that will be removed. It's it's not going to be there. And they, they, they say to use a third party. And you know what? 
everybody used a third party software to do this so you know it's it's not a surprise well it's not actually removed it's still going to be there but it's you know once again deprecated not updated really they will remove some of the features like 3d builder app which is a nonsense you know why you have a 3d builder app when you have paint 3d it's kind of an overlap so of course the 3d builder app will be replaced by the famous paint 3d app um, the enhanced medication experience toolkit emmet um, it's this utility is going to be blocked in a fall creators update and the reason why is because it's just kind of replaced and kind of removed and moved into the windows defender uh, section so that's where we'll have that instead and uh, for those that are using old stuff like outlook express which surprisingly <laughs> can work in windows 10 uh, this is going to be removed because the legacy code that comes with outlook express prevents an upgrade to windows 10 to something more advanced so it's normal that they're removing it Apart from that, reader app, uh, there was a reader app in Windows. And uh, the reader app is a nonsense now that Microsoft Edge will read uh, PDF files, uh, EPUB, books, and uh, all sorts of, um, you know, it can even uh, dictate and read the books and stuff like that. So that's going to be, that's, it's normal that it's removed. Microsoft Edge is now the replacement for that. And reading list. Uh, also no longer needed because it's an edge also so these are just a few of the things that are going to be either deprecated or totally removed in uh, the fall creators update coming up in uh, a little more than a month and you know, I would say a month month and a half if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up and uh, hope you enjoy our videos